Our concluding special for this week is called A Business Insurance in Texas. This will be led here by our famous CPA PC, Mr. Manjit Singh. CPA Singh's office is situated in the heart of Falls Church, Virginia. I say with this new tax season, get all the tax tips you possibly can avail as those tips will certainly be your guidelines in filing taxes this year. Hey folks, good morning. This is Manjit Singh with our, uh, offices in Falls Church and Ashburn, Virginia. Today, I'd like to take a moment and talk to you guys about the new IRS Form 1040. As uh, it was promised in the past, it was going to be a postcard size. Page one, postcard size, and the back side, page two. However, in order to get the numbers on page one and the page two, you have to attach, in addition to the old schedules or forms, a, B, C, D, e, F. You have to attach Schedule 1, where you're going to declare your income. Schedule 2, Schedule 3, Schedule 4, Schedule 5, Schedule 6. Imagine Schedule 6 is only three pages, but it prints only on an eight and a half by 11 size page. So the tax law is simple, very simple, but it's becoming more and more cumbersome to complete it. So, let's review what is going to be asked. And for that purpose, I brought, and you guys are familiar with the 1040 page one of the old that we've been doing it for so, so many years. Page one, and page one of the 1040 2018. Very simple, the first part, is the same, which is page one. Your name, address, social security numbers, your number of dependents, and of course, the other issues, such as are you filing married, filing joint, married, filing separate, married, filing single, head of household, surviving spouse, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And most important, and nobody pays attention to, are you going to contribute $3 to the election campaign? You don't, it doesn't come out of your refund or it doesn't add to your taxes. It's just the government allocates from their general fund to the specific fund for the presidential election. All right, so what's on page one then? Just your basic information. On the back side is the income information. What do they want for the income information? Your W-2 information. Very simple, all right? That was the very first line on the old 1040. So basically, out of the total income section of the old 1040, what we are going to be taking care of is only the W-2 wages on page two. And the other incomes like your dividends, your di uh, interest, your refund from the prior year taxes, your pension income, your rental income, your capital gains and other investments, they are all going to be on the new form called Schedule 1. That's about this size, all right? But in order to get there, you still have the same old forms. Schedule B for the interest, Schedule A for, sorry, we'll talk about Schedule A later. Uh, schedule C for your uh, net profit from the business, and Schedule E for the rental income, Schedule D for your capital gains, etc. They all come on Schedule 1. And then on Schedule 2, you're going to have the other income information. That will be very simple other tax line, alternative minimum tax. And believe it or not, that statement number two is not very, very, very long. It's three or four lines by itself. Statement three is going to be the information of additional other taxes. For example, your uh, non-refundable 
credits from education, your credits for taxes paid to overseas or foreign governments, and retirement savings credit, which you do not get a refund, but it reduces your taxes. Statement four is going to talk about your unemployment tax, sorry, your self-employment taxes that you have to pay on Schedule C, your penalties that you have to pay for early withdrawal of your retirement income from your 401k or IRA, the penalties for which you don't have an explanation or excusable cause. And then finally, we're going to have statement five. I just, the, the federal tax withholding that you have on your W-2 is going to be on page two on the back side of the postcard. But for the other information of credits, estimated taxes paid, and the uh, money that you send with your extinction amount will be on statement number five. Folks, are you confused or you're still with me? Anyway, and then we have a statement number six. What's there in statement number six? Very simply, are you filing your return from overseas? It wants your foreign address. And if you assign a third party designee to discuss your tax matter, you will identify that. This, that statement is again only three lines. So having said all that, you're gonna sign on the back of the new postcard and Luckily, you're not going to send it in by mail, the postcard. Hopefully, you're going to put it in an envelope to hide your personal information, or you're going to let a preparer do it. Folks, this is Manjit. We'll see you next.